How often have you popped into a shop for one item and emerged with bags of special offers and treats you couldn't resist? Wise up to the tricks of the trade with MoneyWise's top tips. It might sound old fashioned, but writing a list should help you buy what you need instead of what catches your eye. To compare prices, look at how much items cost by weight or volume. Be warned though, supermarkets try to make things difficult by mixing and matching these units. For example, imagine you're looking at bottles of squash. There will normally be a range of different brands on offer, all in different size bottles. The aroma of fresh bread from the in-store bakery, the waft of delicious rotisserie chicken or other deli delights are tempting, aren't they? Of course they are, they're designed that way. Killers if you're a bit peckish, so eat before you hit the shops. Buy one get one free and other special offers are only worth it if it's something you were going to buy anyway. If you didn't want it in the first place, how can buying two of them save you money? Besides, there's only so much you can store in a freezer and frozen food should be used roughly within a month of freezing. Everyday staples vary very little in price, with special offers either on more expensive branded items or on non-essentials, such as confectionery cakes and booze. Dashing in and out is easy when you know where everything is, but tricky when your local supermarket constantly moves sections around. But this is the supermarket's intention. The longer you spend trawling the aisles, the more likely you are to put extra things into your trolley. Bear in mind that own brand and cheaper products tend to be on the lower shelves, but the more expensive branded items are at convenient eye level. Perfect for the unaware browsing shopper. Supermarkets keep essential items like milk, eggs, pastas and tin goods towards the back of the stores. This way you have plenty of other aisles to first walk through and get distracted by. Then if you try zipping up the central walkway, each end dial is crammed with deals, yet these are usually the ones that will save you the least amount of money. Likewise, don't be lured by confectionery at the tills and cigarette counter, or certain bakery goods that supermarkets now cunningly display at store entrances. Mm -hmm.